In my last video, I explained to you how to calculate the last 30 day versus previous 30 days sum if, count if and average if. I also show you how to calculate the difference and apply conditional formatting and how to calculate percent difference. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a nice trend line. So trend line become green whenever the difference is positive. And for example, if I type here, let's say last 50 day, it become green. Since for last 50 days we have less sale than previous 50 days. So in this video I am going to teach you each and everything to develop this chart in a very easy way. Consider we have this sheet on which I did not develop any chart yet. The first thing I will scroll to the left side. We need to write a filter function here. So I will simply type equal filter open parenthesis scroll to the left select the order date column if you click here you will see array now we just need to type comma for the include parameter i will also select the order date column simply write greater than equal to today open close parenthesis minus l3 i also explain the concept of this formula to calculate the sum if for last n days now i will simply close parenthesis hit enter and this will extract the last n days based on l3 cell now of course there are duplicate dates as well and we want to remove the duplicate so i will simply click on ecto cell click here type unique un you will see unique function here just double click close parenthesis hit enter now i will apply the sort function as well for now my data is sort properly but if your own data set is not sort properly then better to apply the sort function as well so i will simply type sort open parenthesis click on the end type comma since i have only one column so i will simply type one comma for the sorting order i will type one if you want descending order mean you want to see the latest state on a top and the oldest state on a bottom you simply type minus one for now i will type one close parenthesis hit enter now i will show you how to develop the sum if function for simplicity i will type here 10 first now we will develop a very easy sum if function simply type equal sum if open parenthesis for the range i will scroll to the left select order date column comma for the criteria i will select all order dates so if i select all of them you can see t5 hash actually the hash mean this is an array input so from t5 to all of the cell which has array comma for the sum range i will select all of the cell column so i will simply select cell column close parenthesis hit enter and this will calculate the sum if for all order dates now the beauty of this function if i type here let's say 15 days sum if range will automatically update if i click on ecto cell and i just multiply this with one what will happen nothing will happen but if i type here let's say multiply with na what will happen all of the result become na and this is very useful for us i will now apply a very easy if function for now i will remove the na and i will type if open parenthesis if this value n6 value is greater than or equal to zero then we want to multiply the result with one mean we don't want to change any value but if this value is less than zero then we want na result so i will simply type na open close parenthesis close parenthesis for if function hit enter and this will return na but what will happen if i copy this whole formula Control c double click here Control v and i just update greater than equal to and i will change this to less than zero so this means whenever the difference is negative i want to multiply the sum if result with one and whenever the result is greater than zero i want to multiply the result with na if i hit enter you will see the result on decrease column but what will happen if i type here let's say 10 days since for last 10 day we are going better than previous 10 day now you can see increase column show a value and decrease column will show any result now almost our calculation has done but if i select all of the data sheet go to insert recommended chart for now i will just hit ok and what will happen if i type here let's say 15 if i click on the chart again the range is not automatically update and we want our chart range to automatically automatically update so there are many ways to make our chart range dynamic but i will show you a new and very simple technique i will simply select the chart and hit delete key scroll to the right side a little bit leave one column blank and i will type here a very easy function filter open parenthesis select all of the data but i will select some blank cell as well so i will simply remove one and type zero zero i think 200 cell is okay comma for the include parameter i will also select t4 break the mouse down 
instead of 20 i will define 200 make sure both of the range is same so 200 200 otherwise this formula will not work net equal to empty close parenthesis hit enter and this will return the same result but now this is one array what we need to do we just need to go insert recommended chart click on all chart xy scatter chart in this case i will select scatter with smooth line and marker hit ok now of course we can do a little bit formatting but what will happen if i type here let's say 20 days and if i click on the chart the range is dynamically updated and this is what we want now i will move the chart a little bit to the left side for now i will delete the chart title and if i go to format here i will select increase and now we will choose the color for increase line so click on shape outline green shape fill green of course we don't see any change on the line but you can see the legend has been updated again click on the format select decrease shape outline red shape fill red now what will happen if i type here let's say 15 days still the negative if i type here 10 days for the last 10 days we are doing better than previous 10 days and that's why you can see a green line there are a bunch of format for the chart if you click on chart design quick layout you can see a bunch of layout we have and for this chart i will select layout 4 layout 4 will also show legend again so i will simply click and delete click on horizontal x-axis right click format x-axis go to properties for the custom angle i will select let's say minus 30 is looking better for us i will close format shape pen and the only thing remaining is to make round corner border so i will simply go to insert select the round corner rectangle simply draw the rectangle based on chart size shape fill to no fill shape outline i will choose the same color as per my table now click again shape outline and for the weight i will select six point now i will do a little bit adjustment for better look your sheet go to view of the grid line as well and if you want the gray fill you can simply select the chart format shape fill and in this case i will select gray color click here shape fill select gray color i think we are almost done but the only thing we need to hide these columns so i will simply select all of the columns right click hide them oh my chart data has been disappeared what i need to do you just need to simply click on the chart go to chart design select data click hidden and empty cells check show data in hidden rows and column hit ok hit ok and this is how we can create this nice intracto line chart. I hope you learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have time, please share this video as well. Thank you so much.